okay so hello everyone welcome back to my kitchen today I have a little special treat for you guys today I have company over in my kids and my grandkids is visiting it's my birthday weekend so we're gonna make something really cool um who doesn't like pizza who loves pizza Jayla? you like pizza yes everybody everybody so guys today I'm gonna show you my version of like a somewhat healthy version of pizza and you know to me um so this is going to be the, the crust of the pizza right here and this is just um you know whole wheat pressing um, is not here what are these things called whole wheat soft um taco so this is going to be the base of the pizza and all your crust okay and then to that you know i'm just going to saute some vegetables and you know and pretty much build my pizza from there i also found this in the supermarket today you know this is some um, little pizza crust you know so if you guys don't want to go with with the um whole wheat taco shells the soft shell so your crust this is you know I, i've never had this before but it's just a little um a small crust and i'm probably going to do this for the um the grandbabies so you know they can you know they probably won't want to have these so um yeah um pizza in 15 to 20 minutes okay so welcome back to the video guys before i get things started first i want to list um the ingredients that i'm going to be using i'm going to be using some extra virgin olive oil and to that i'm going to be sauteing these vegetables this is going to be what's going into the um the pizza i have some tomato sauce and this is just your usual suspects um you know ground gin um ground garlic onion all spice and just it's just seasonings for you know a few things that i might be using salt a little bit of black pepper some crushed red pepper and some um italian seasoning because it's pizza so you know you need to have some italian seasoning and i'm going to top it off with this um cheese mexican three cheese blend and guys you can use you know if you would rather different cheese you can use the cheese of your choice and like I said before, if you just want to get the um, traditional pizza crust from the um, supermarket, you can also use that. This is what I use. I try to go a little healthier with what I'm doing. So I'm going for this whole grain um, soft taco shell for my pizza. So now I'm going to get things started by sauteing these vegetables with some um, extra virgin olive oil. So um, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil. Do the vegetables in two, could be three, and spoon. So yeah, I'm just gonna saute these vegetables for um about five minutes just until the peppers are soft and everything is softened and then um basically add a little bit of seasoning and then I'll be pretty much ready to build the pizza and put it in the oven. So you know this is gonna just let this cook until the peppers are softened. Um, I'll give it about five minutes on a low heat, just because you know, I want the peppers to be well cooked and and softened before I build my pizza. So yeah, um, this is a pizza remix, guys. So yeah. So. Okay, so welcome back to the video. So you know, this is um, this is the peppers, onions that's been cooking for about like the last um, four minutes and now i'm going to add just a little bit of seasoning to it so let's see what i'm going to add here i'm going to add a little bit of brown um garlic just a little for the teaspoon of tablespoon or just season the taste you know like i say you know i don't when i'm seasoning i don't usually measure because i just pretty much eyeball because it's you know it's the taste so just some ground um, garlic powder, some ground onion powder. To this, I'm gonna add, um, you know, what I call the star of the show. Some, oops, okay, some ground allspice. I literally put it in everything. I know you guys should know. I I love it. You know, just a little bit of dried cilantro. So little, just a taste. You know, whatever is your taste. You know, your season. You adjust your seasonings to, to your likings and your taste buds. Um, I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. I didn't open this before, so now I, I should have opened this before. And this is how I open my seasoning. Mm -hmm. And I 
I know everyone does that, so yeah. That's about um a teaspoon. And it's pizza, so we're gonna have some Italian seasonings. And just maybe some crushed red pepper because yeah, it also goes with that whole theme. I'm not gonna put too much because my grandbabies gotta eat this pizza and I want them to be able to enjoy. So yeah, so um this is pretty much done. You don't wanna overcook the um the vegetables because it still has to go in the oven where it's gonna cook a little more so you know it's just seasoned oh and I forgot to add one other thing some salt and you guys see you know I, I keep it light this is the salt that I use light salt is it, you know it doesn't contain as much um sodium as the regular salt so this is what I use you know um adjust to your level this I'm gonna just add about a teaspoon of salt it's pretty light so even if you go a little overboard you know you might still you might be so good with that so yeah so this is about ready um and i'm just gonna let this cook for probably one more minute and then i'll be ready to build that pizza so yeah stand by guys. so welcome back to the video so now i'm about to build the pizza so i'm gonna start with, you know using my pizza crust and I'm gonna suggest some brush because you know like with a little bit of like extra virgin olive oil just soften it up a little bit like this just brush that on like so just, you know, just brush lightly right and now Gonna come here and this is how I'm gonna build this pizza guys just um one second where's my fork yeah. okay so now to this okay I'm gonna add add some tomato sauce and this is how I do it I'm gonna add the sauce on here about the tablespoon of tomato sauce It. Just one tablespoon of tomato sauce, and then to that, I'm going to add some of this um, sauteed pepper and onion mix, just like so. Not too much, just. just like that. And to this, you can add, you know, whatever things of your choice that you might want to add. You might want to add some chicken some chicken breast i don't know some pepperoni some fruits i'm gonna add some pineapple to some of the slices because that's what i like and this is basically it um to this right i'm just gonna um now add some cheese and like so As much or as little as you like, and whatever cheese of your choice. I'm using this the three um, cheese Mexican mix. I also like to use the white cheddar cheese, it's really yummy um, with this, um, this pizza. If you just want an all white pizza, and um, this is pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna um, prep the rest of them and get them ready for the oven. And I'm also gonna show you the, um, the ones that. I'm adding the pineapple still, so um, stand by guys. Okay, so welcome back to the video. So this is what the pizza looks like before going in. I did four with um, without pineapple. I added pineapple to these four. And you know, just the basic um, vegetables that I sauteed. I added some tomato sauce and some cheese. And to these I added some pineapple. So now I'm going to put it into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes in a 400 um, degree heated oven for you know, like I said about 15 to 20 minutes so stand by guys pizza coming up. okay so welcome back to my kitchen guys and now I'm gonna make some fish tenders you know these chicken tenders so this is my version this is fish tenders um I'm just gonna lightly season some fish fillets frozen I tore them out I'm gonna lightly season them with some salt and black pepper just all the usual suspects all spice um onion powder garlic you know all just all the usual suspects guys just lightly season this and then I'm going to um, 
you know, dip it in some breadcrumbs and put them in the oven for like about 20, 20 minutes and then I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay, so welcome back to my kitchen guys. This is what the finished product looks like. This is pizza, it's ready. 15 minutes, I mean, it's not Gino's, but you know, if you guys try this recipe, you will really not be disappointed. It's quick, it's easy, it's simple, and it's, you know, it's like half of the calories or maybe less of a regular slice of pizza so give this one a try guys and leave me a comment and let me know how you guys like this recipe and i'll leave everything in the description box everything that i use so you guys can you know make this pizza and give it a try thank you back to my kitchen guys this is um this is a fish i have it ready for the oven you know i just cut it up season it and just um rolled it around with some breadcrumbs and now i'm gonna put it in the oven for about 20 minutes at 400 degrees and you know i'll show you guys what the finished product looks like so i'll be back so welcome back to the video guys so this is the rest of the pizza i mean obviously the pizza was a hit the quality of person and chicken was really yummy um i was enjoying my pizza a little too much guys please excuse this mess that i made so jenny you want to tell the people about the pizza and how it was tell the friends how the pizza was it was good Mm -hmm. And what about you, Parson? Did you like the pizza? That it was pizza? awesome. The okay, so the pineapple, the pineapple pizza was amazing. The pepper, the sauce, the cheese, the crust tastes like real pizza from the pizzeria. So, do you think that this is something you like to eat, like sometimes, as opposed to having a regular slice from the pizza yeah. store? Wait, do you like wait, eating? Wait, you, wait, do you have any slices? No, we discussed that off camera. Those are taken you know those belong to someone else you already had yours mm -hmm. so guys yeah the pizza seems to be a hit and um, See, like eating we have every fish day. bites coming up and some more things that i made for my little birthday hang so we okay, back. So welcome back to the video guys this is the um finished product of the fish bites um this is what it looks like you know i kept it in the oven for about 20 minutes and yeah it's pretty much ready so we're going to you know eat this stuff up and i'll let you guys know how it came out